Clay is the unique flexible material with amazing properties. According to many Indo-European myths, even a man was created from clay. While then trying to be like a great creator, a man began to make different subjects out of it. Art and ceramics for the soul, housewares, and building materials for daily life. Kazakhstan is rich with clay. It differs in composition and properties, application areas, and even color. Our story is about the red clay, the only raw material for the production of high-quality expanded clay and expanded clay bricks. Now we are on the drilling palliagin clays, of which we produce concrete blocks. What is a palliagin clay? This ancient clay is somewhere around 70 million years old. It was deposited in a marine environment. Once there was the sea, there was a sea lagoon, shallow waters, and then the platform was the Mesozoic, weathering crust. It blurs and sea waters enters these clays were deposited in the sea. This quarry, where red clay is extracted, located in the territory of Mukrinsky rural district of Almaty region, 22 kilometers away from Kaldekorgan. A layer of produced clay is about 7 meters. What are the properties of clay? Clay is montmorillonite hydromica. It means clay contains different hydromica. They're flaky and contain a lot of liquid gas inclusions. In the process of firing, the liquid gas inclusions explode and clay swells grows its size by 4 to 10 times. The red color is given to clay with the oxidized iron, or in other words, limonite. To extract the red clay from this quarry, it is necessary to perform the so-called stripping for workers and technology to remove younger surface of Cenozoic grey clays and transfer them to the dumps. At the moment we are working on the ledge, the ledge which we use for work. Our cars drive here, transporting these clays from the surface to dumps. Before we extract clay, we need to perform stripping in order to remove gain, which overlap the clay. At the moment, you can see excavator behind me. There are machines that perform stripping to reveal clay that we need. This unnecessary clay that we remove from the first surface is stored in a single blade. It is to the left behind us. Cars are transporting them at the moment. We do not conduct extracting until all the necessary clay is taken away. There is technology of mining operations. They are ready for mining stocks, uncovered reserves, prepared reserves. Ready for mining stocks we took away, and we are now working on the ledge. But now we remove the unnecessary clay. The ledge will move there, and it will be ready for mining stocks. We will remove them at the plant. Not far from the quarry, there is a production plant of expanded clay. Here the red clay turns into a demanded construction material. The miracle of transformation of prepared clay pellets into expanded clay occurs in a rotary kiln. It has been working here since 1991. Its weight is about 200 tons. The temperature in the center of the plume reaches up to 1,250 degrees. There is a special process if we take a hypothetical pellet, which falls into the furnace. It is in the oven. 
from beginning to end takes place in the oven for 40 minutes. That's 40 minutes has four stages. Final drying stage, the stage of chemical reaction. Then the stage itself is already swelling. This is when the temperature rises sharply, from 600 degrees to 1200. That is, heat stroke is obtained, and entirely somewhere about five minutes, it is cooled to 950 degrees. Thereafter, expanded clay goes for refrigeration, where it is further cooled to 45 to 37 degrees. Thereafter, through the system of discharging, it falls into assorted gravel, where it is sorted into two fractions, large fractions, 10 to 40, and that defined fraction is from 0 to 10. Full production of expanded clay from prepared clay takes about one and a half hour. Expanded clay produced at the plant is of the highest grade of 350 kilograms per cubic meter, up to 500 kilograms. This is determined by its weight. The lighter it is, the higher the grade. Interestingly, the same cube of pure clay before firing weighs more than two and a half tons. The history of the enterprise is also very interesting. In 1990, it was the first cooperative in Taldekurgan region during the famous Perestroika, which decided to build its own factory and create serious business. We began to build the plant. We collected materials from all over the former Soviet Union. In 1991, it was commissioned. When we commissioned it, we invited the minister. The minister was surprised and said, we didn't have the plant in our plans. How you were able to build it? When the commission came to see it, we were asked how we built the plant and how long it took to start it. We replied that it was built one year and a half, and it took us to start at the same time. Minister was surprised. He couldn't believe that businesses could start and run so quickly. At that time, Nur Sultan Nazarbayev was the chairman of the Council of Ministers. Due to the fact that we were the first cooperative in Taldekurgan region, he often visited our company. Since then, many years have passed. The plant experienced more than one crisis, the rise and fall of the construction sector. When there was a collapse of the Soviet Union, we also took full recession. And as we have loans and we had to pay them. But there was no money. We did some restructuring. We went to the bank to make concessions too. I went to the National Fund for concessions and extended the share of repurchase by 49%. And thus we somehow managed to stay afloat. When the crisis was over, the crisis began and end. And after the crisis, there must be the rise of the economy. The construction industry has risen again. The company's management didn't just sit through the tough times, but was seeking a way out of the situation. So it was decided to expand production and build another plant which began producing manufactured bricks and blocks from expanded clay. Our factory produces expanded clay bricks, expanded clay blocks. Bricks are available in two types, standard size bricks, modular bricks and standard blocks. Also we can produce 16 types of paving tiles, well, and the expanded clay itself. Production is fully automated. The plant was acquired in Germany brought, installed and launched in Kazakhstan in 2007. This company is the only one in country that has a patent to produce such products. Incidentally, 60% of construction in Europe is performed from such bricks.
Кирбитовый кирпич – это очень уникальный сам по себе материал. Expanded clay brick is a very unique material itself. The thermal conductivity of bricks is 0.18. This is 3.2 times higher than the thermal conductivity of red brick and the thermal conductivity of the neurals. According to the neurals, in order to make it more energy efficient, 51 centimeter of brick wall replaces the traditional red brick, baked at 1 meter 47 centimeters. Therefore, design institutes quickly responded to our brick. The technological cycle of production of expanded clay bricks from expanded clay goes as follows. Factory receives concrete block. On the excavator, it is transferred to the crusher, where it is crushed to the required fractions. Then, using a fully automated equipment, it is supplied to the conveyor belt and enters the batch. Further, brick molding takes place on pressing equipment. The plant itself has the equipment of Schlosser Pfeiffer, German company, a world leader in the production of machines of fiber press technique. Unique Press is working not just with the vibration and hypervibration, or pressure and vibration in trilateral form. Because of this, we get a product with an exact geometrical shape and strength. During one cycle in 25 seconds, we get 36 modular bricks. Formed products are carried by a robot loader for drying. With the help of a stream of air required for freezing of the finished product, staff oversees the entire production on a computer monitor. On this screen, you can see completely everything that happens with the press. Here you can see a fully loading hopper with feeding hoppers. It is a shuttle. The shuttle goes to press. After the press, we receive bricks. It is available for everyone to see. The operator who is sitting here just sits and controls so that everything will be consistent and normal. Here we exhibit all the parameters of the plant. We can set the height. Everything here is adjustable. Also on the screen, we can see the production shift, the discharging of the interval of time and temperature. The shift has only six people working, package assistant of finished products, operators, drivers of excavators and forklift loader. We have tried to close the loop from the extraction of clay and finish the construction. Directly we want to invest our products in the construction of buildings, kindergartens and all the rest. During the entire period of our existence, when the crisis began, we started to work in construction. As I was trained in construction, we began to participate in the tender and began to build. During this time, we made several renovations, built two schools, one 20 apartment house. At the moment, we are building a 50 apartment house. We passed the school in the village of Balpeg B for 280 seats on August 17th of this year. We commissioned the school for 120 people in the village of Kinner of our district. That's how we collect an additional amount in order to be able to exist. Due to this, it was possible to pay the loan and keep working. Today, the assortment of red clay products is diverse. Expanded clay, expanded clay bricks, blocks, paving tiles, exterior bricks in many colors. Stocks of clay quarry will be enough for another four to five years of intensive work. The company's management is preparing to invite specialists and produce additional exploration of red clay in the Almaty region, which is a famous one in the construction industry.